Hello everyone, Sheila back again, welcome to my channel. I am um, just started on the um, the left front, I finished the back on um, the cardigan for Rhiannon. This is a 26 inch one. Finish the, the back of the cardigan. So I just have the the two fronts and the sleeves to do but I do have the other one to sew up as well and I'm not absolutely certain until I finish whether I'm going to pick up the stitches all the way around because it's a v-neck or whether I will knit it separate and stitch it on because the rib I've noticed the rib on this this wool doesn't seem to pull in tight like what I know what what the ribs normally do on other ones I've made so I'm not sure whether picking the stitches up whether it might not keep the um, the shape properly so I might just knit knit it se knit them separate which means I will have to cast the stitches off on the um the top which I haven't I've left the stitches for the back of the neck and the sleeves on um holders but if I do, if I do stitch it, knit it and stitch it all the way around, I'll have to cast those stitches off. So I'll wait until um, I get the pieces finished and make my mind up what I'm going to do then. Because I have to sew them up first as well. But anyway, that's what I've been doing with this. And I will put that down for a minute. And I was looking for something in my little bag. I have just finished this little bag. This one is for, I'll check, I think it's Rosemary. I have to check, make sure, because I had one or two orders for them. Yes, this one's for Rosemary. She had paid me for this, but she was going on holiday and asked me not to post it before the 30th, which was the day she comes back. Well, it's in the middle of the holiday. I did try to get this finished for 11 o'clock this morning, but I was about half an hour too late. So I could get over to the post office today, today and then at least she might have got it Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm not going to be able to get to the post office on Tuesday now because of the um, the holiday. But anyway, that is the peg bag, and as you can see, there's the little the little bit that I put on for, so you can put it over on your washing line and fasten on the button there. You hook it onto your your washing line and then you just pull it backwards and forwards along your line as you're taking the pegs out that's what I do with I have a one similar to this that I made a long time ago actually it was a knitted one actually I know never crocheted it I might make one of these for myself because I think it's seen better days and something I have noticed if I can find it, um, a needle I was saying you couldn't use these for um for your knitting unless you had something like that the, the larger ones which they don't poke through if you have something like that on the end of your needle but if you're just putting them through like this I still have to force that through though because it is a bit thicker and it still goes through but if you have a little the little stoppers on the end, if you have stoppers for the end of your needles, you could use it as a, um, a knitting bag, the larger ones anyway. Now I have a one for the smaller needles. I don't know about this one. This is a smaller one for the smaller needles, but I'll just try it on this one. It'll go through if you push hard, <laughs> but I think you're not going to do that with your knitting needles anyway. I put those back in my little bag before I lost them. 
So that is a little bag finished for Rosemary, which I'll be sending off to her on um, Tuesday. With the with the base on the um, the bottom. That was my last base that size. I am waiting for some coming from um, Timo. This size, I managed to find some on Timo the same size. But I sent away for them on the 20th and it is the 30th today and I'm still waiting for them coming. I don't even know whether they're in this country yet, but... Anyway, when they come, I'll be able to do some more that size for peg bags or well, just a small project bag or for children, for little bags for children. But I have got a one I'm doing here. This one's for Angela, one of my subscribers. I'll lift that out there. Oh, this is a... I only had dark coloured bases left. I only have one more left actually in this size. That's that one, which is a little bit bigger than that one, as you can see. These are the ones to do for project project bag. I only had four of them and I'm used this is the third one I'm using for Angela because she wanted the um the blue it's blue and green actually it's blue and green mixed so that's how far I got on with that one because I only work until 12 o'clock on a, um a morning with these but I have been getting up a bit earlier in the morning so I get a little bit more done with these now than I was before because I go to bed a bit earlier so I only have one left and this is for a lady called Pat who telephoned me. She, she has my telephone number and she asked me to do her one. So this one will be for her when I do that one but I have no more of that size because I couldn't find any that size on Timu at a decent price. They're all as expensive as anywhere else, like on Amazon. I got these from Amazon. I think they were £9.99 for four. So they work out um, £2.50 each, these ones. And I did find these ones on Amazon. These ones are a little bit bigger because they're quite wide. These would make a good project bag because they're a lot wider. And they are a little bit bigger than this one and put them together you can see the um the difference they are just slightly longer but they are quite wide compared to to that one as well so i can make this one i can start it off if anybody wants a project bag i can start it off this size but work it the sides to come out wider like that so you get a larger bag actually so that's what I'll probably do with those ones because I have four of those as well. I have a cream one. Well, I couldn't pick the colours with these ones because they were in packs. That one and I have a, a very dark brown one. And like a, a lighter brown, like a tan coloured one. And a black one. So I have four of those I can work on as well. While I'm waiting for the other ones coming from Timu because... <laughs> They keep sending me updates, but it's took them days just to get to the airport. And I'm not even sure the last update I got was um, going through customs. But it doesn't say whether it's customs in whatever country they're coming from or in my country in the UK. It doesn't tell me that. But the Royal Mail hasn't got them yet. So, so I'm still waiting for them ones. But these ones, when I do these, any more of these bags, I'm going to have to put the price up because I never really thought about them. As seeing these, these ones were nine pound nine pence for four. So that works out about two pound twenty five each, and then I have the price of the wool on top of that, which runs around. Even if I use a cheap wool, it's around about three pound. And then when I post them, it's £3.49. pence, And then there's the package that I put them in to post them in. So that works out about oh, 
I'm lucky if I get a couple of pound after doing these, so I'm going to have to put the price up for, for these. For, and then if I was selling them on eBay, I would have to put the price up again anyway because of um, their selling fees. So I don't get very much for them. They don't take me very long, but I'm not getting a lot for them. I never really worked out the prices when I first started them. But the smaller ones, these ones, these were the cheaper price. They were only £1.09 that I ordered from um, Timu. But I have had a look on Timu again and the colours, I could not get this as silver. I couldn't get any of the silver ones and there is two cream ones. There's a light cream and a darker cream and I could only get the one, the darker cream. And all the other colours were the browns and the blacks, which people don't seem to favour. So I ordered 10 from there of the lightest cream ones that I could get. And then I've looked again and I cannot find them anymore. So I think there's been a special offer on Timu and I don't think that offer's on anymore. They're selling them all for more or less the same price as I can buy them on Amazon or AB. So I'll do what I can with what I get. But I'm going to have, probably have to put the prices up for these because I'm not getting enough for the um the work that I'm doing on them. But anyway, I have another slideshow for you today. This is slideshow number seven and I've had an awful lot of pictures sent in to me. So it's going to run about five minutes, this slideshow. So a little bit music to keep you happy while you're looking at the pictures.
Well, I hope you like that slideshow. And everyone, still just keep on sending any pictures you have into me for the next slideshow. Doesn't matter whether it's a finished product, whether it's anything you've knitted yourself or from your own patterns. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't have to be from anything I, any patterns I've made. It's I like to see what other people can do and all my subscribers like to see what other people can do as well. But anyway, it's a lovely sunny day today for a change. We have had a bit of sun the last few days and our clocks are going forward tonight so it'll be a bit lighter tomorrow night to what it usually is. So the next time I go up to my my bingo night, which was Thursday, I'll be driving up in daylight for a change. Because there's so many, the time I go up, there's such a lot of traffic on the roads and the lights has been terrible. But it's going to be a bit lighter from now on, until later on in the year again anyway. But me and my friend were on a roll on Thursday night. It wasn't me, it was her. And all the comments and the looks. We started off with um, my friend won £30 on the... We have what's called the last number. We buy a ticket for the last number of one of the games. And if the house is called on that number that you have in that ticket, we win £30 when my friend Anne won that. It's not the first time she's, kept, she's quite lucky with that, actually. And then later on, she won a line. It was only £6, but we don't get very much for the lines. They keep most of it for the house. And then I won a, an £8 line. And then I won a £65 house. Only somebody else shouted at the same time, so we only got £32 and 50 pence. So anyway, me and my friend came home with more than 30 pound each. It's a little bit better than not winning anything. But you know, we still got the comments and the looks because that was four times at our table that came with the money. <laughs> And we get all the comments off everybody, you know, and we see, you think we were the only ones that ever won in here. Because you're the only ones that ever win more than once in the night, the same night. We can't help it if we're lucky. And my friend said to me when we first went in, she had been to her granddaughter's wedding on the Wednesday. And she said to me, if you win the night, Sheila, don't shout too loud, will you? Because she my head is still thumping. <laughs> she says, I was, I'm not going to say what she said, but I'll tell you, it starts with a P. <laughs> it ends with ED. <laughs> so she's had a little bit too much to drink and was still suffering. <laughs> I try not to shout too loud when <laughs> thingy. But she nearly bursts my eardrum when she shouts, so I don't know why to tell me to be quiet. But anyway, that's my little bit for today. Um, oh, I forgot to see, I got a little bit further with my card again. If I can find it in this bag, I've got so much stuff in. Yeah, there it is. Not my card again, it's my sweater. I'm actually shaping, you see the little stitch markers I've put in there, I'm actually shaping the the top of the sleeve so it'll not be too long. I finished that one but I'm going to spend more time on my own over the weekend because it is a holiday and I think I should do things for myself for a change. So. After I finish this video, I will be putting everybody else's down and getting on with my own. Put that in the bag. 
And I will be at my granddaughter's tomorrow and I'll be taking my knitting down there with um when I go down my granddaughter's anyway. Oh and something else I have I told you about this. It's a USB Freeview High Definition TV stick who I bought from Amazon. I was going to send it back because I could not get it. It worked for a, a little while on my computer. But every time I shut my computer down, my computer's on nearly all day. And I don't usually shut it down to go to bed. But every morning I had to reinstall this into my computer. It just wouldn't work. And then the last time I tried to reinstall it, it just wouldn't go in. Wouldn't work. There was just nothing at all, no channels at all. I thought at first it was my aerial. But it worked fine on my television, so I knew it was all right there. And anyway, I was going to send it back, thinking it wasn't working. So I decided to myself, I'm going to test it first. I'll try it on one of my other laptops to see whether it works. I've got two other laptops and I installed it on both of them and it works perfectly on both of those laptops. And even when I shut the laptops down, it was still working the next day. I had no problem at all. So I know that it's my computer. It's not the tuner. So I had to go into the, the install things and everything. And when I installed it, part of it comes up with um, seeing it won't run. And I have to tick something to make it run. And I realised the virus thing on my computer is looking at this as a virus and it's stopping it from working. That's what all the problem was all the time. So I had to uninstall the, um, the virus, so I, the, um, the antivirus. I've just left it off. I'm just using um, Windows Defender for any viruses I might get in my computer because I know how to get rid of them anyway. I don't need an antivirus. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is great. It works on my computer now. On the one it wouldn't work before, it works great now and get all the channels up. But mind you, I've never seen anything that's worth watching, actually. <laughs> I was watching When the Boat Comes In this morning. That's I found one or two channels that show old TV series. And that's an old um, Geordie series, When the Boat Comes In, with James Bolam in. And his wife, I think, was in it. Um, Susan Jameson, I think her name was. I do remember watching that years ago and I did like it. You know that song when the boat comes in, they um, dance for your daddy, sing for your mummy. Then you go on about when the boat comes in. That's how it goes, the song. Um, but it's a good series. If anybody in the United States hasn't seen it, you should look it up and find it. It is a good it's quite old, but it is good. But I found a lot of other old TV shows that I like to watch as well. So, And I can just stretch over to my computer whenever I want to switch channels and whatever I want on it now. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> and I nearly sent it back to Amazon as well. With a, <laughs> I was going to put a rotten review in for it. So anyway, that's it for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.